Welcome to Uflex USA, located in Sarasota, Florida. Today, we are installing a Uflex hydraulic steering system. This application is on the center console with twin outboards. We are installing a twin cylinder system. This installation procedure is mainly valid for any outboard installation. Small details may change depending on the engine make and model. For additional information, please reference the Uflex installation manual. This installation has a moderate difficulty level and will take one to two hours on average. First, we will be unboxing the hydraulic cylinder. The U-Flex cylinder kit comes with the following. Cylinder, tilt tube rod, bull horns, spacer kit, and tiller bolt packet. Next, we will connect the link arm to the engine. In some applications, the link arm will go on top of the engine tiller arm, and other applications require it to go under the engine tiller arm. Always connect the link arm to the hull closer to the engine. Now we can position the U-Flex super bolt into the link arm and then carefully thread it through the engine tiller arm. Tighten the super bolt, then install the safety nut and tighten to torque. Now we will install the bolt horns. The cylinder is now connected to the tiller arm of the engine. You can swivel the cylinder out and install the two bull horns at each end of the rod. Place lock washers first and then the bolts. Do not fully torque the bolts so you can swivel the bull horns to align. Some cylinders might have bull horns already installed. At this point, we will center the cylinders. To ensure the same amount of steering travels to port and starboard, it is important to first center the cylinders. We need to measure the equal amount of rod on both sides. Once we have centered the cylinders, we can center the engines. Now that the cylinders are set at mid-stroke, it is time to center the engines. We do this by moving the tillers at the center of the engine bracket. If it's necessary, take a measurement from the side of the engine bracket. Before proceeding to the next step, we can install the first collar on the threaded part of the tilt tube, which is usually on the starboard side. Make sure not to place the set screw yet. Now that the motors and cylinders are centered, we can determine how many spacers we need on both sides by measuring the distance between the bull horn and the tilt tube. It is important to remember that you may not use an equal amount of spacers on each side. When installing the tilt tube rod, it is important to apply marine type grease. At this point, the correct spacers are installed and the bull horns are in place. Now, we can proceed with tightening the bolts and lock nuts of the bull horns. Make sure to bend the tabs on each safety washer. Now that we have our tilt tube rod installed and spaced correctly, we can finish the installation by manually unscrewing the tilt tube collar to eliminate the residual side clearance. Remember to place the set screw in the collar to lock it in place. Now we'll move along to hose installation. Install the hydraulic lines on the starboard cylinder. Make sure that the port line, which is red, goes on the starboard fitting and the starboard line, which is green, goes on the port fitting. You can change the orientation of the fittings by releasing the lock nut, then tightening it once the desired orientation is achieved. In this phase, it is very important to make sure that the hydraulic lines do not get kinked when the engine is steering, tilting, or both. Once the starboard cylinder is connected, remove the bleeders from the T-fittings and install the hose kit to connect the starboard fitting of the starboard cylinder to the starboard fitting of the port cylinder. Then, connect the port fitting of the starboard cylinder to the port fitting of the port cylinder. Once both cylinders have been installed, we can proceed with the tie bar installation. The first step is to define the distance between the center of each engine. This is done by measuring the distance between one bolt of the starboard engine bracket and the same bolt of the port engine bracket. The next step is to define a toe-in or toe-out value. This depends on a variety of factors, including the propeller's type, rotation direction, the engine height, and the shape of the hull, and the engine distance. Ask your boat manufacturer or dealer for more information. Install the tie bar bracket on the starboard cylinder. Align engines to the centers and measure the distance from tiller to tiller. This must be equal to the engine centers plus or minus the toe-in, toe-out value. 
Screw or unscrew the free end of the tie bar until the holes on the port bracket align to the holes on the port cylinder. Check that the thread engagements on the ball joints are sufficient. The maximum gap should be no greater than 19 millimeters or 3 quarter inches. Finally, torque bolts, safety screws, and lock nuts on the tie bar. Now that our cylinders are in place, we have to fill and purge the system. Please check out our filling and purging video for instructions on how to do this. If your helm is not already installed, please watch our helm installation video. For additional information, please reference the Uflex installation manual or check out our website.